how long does it take to actually learn Python? And to a larger extent, how long does it take to learn to code, period? This is one of those questions where there's not an exact answer. I can't tell you specifically like one day, three day, 10 days. I can give you a pretty good estimation, but here's what happens when you learn to code. Like people learn at different rates. You know, you might learn faster or slower than um, the person sitting next to you or someone else who is watching this video. And that's super normal, right? So some of this is about your expectations and what can you really expect when you sit down and want to learn to code with Python. Now, as far as programming languages go, Python is one of the easier ones to learn. It has a lot of design decisions that make it feel easier and simpler and a little bit nicer than certain other programming languages. For example, when I was learning to code, I learned with a programming language called C, which is in many ways much more difficult than Python. There's kind of different levels of learning. And so part of this question is also like, how long does it take to just feel comfortable with the idea of programming and writing Python? And then kind of like, how long does it take to feel like you're good, right? And then, you know, there, you might wonder how long does it take before you can like get a job writing code with Python. So let's break those down a little bit. And this gets back to the sort of 10,000 hour rule, the idea that to become an expert in something, it takes thousands of hours. Now, now expert is a funny word. So I don't mean mastery. I mean, a level of competence and expertise that you feel good about it. Now, it probably takes, you know, one hour to just get started with Python. And then it probably takes like 10 to 20 hours to feel like you kind of understand what programming is about and you can do some of the typing and it feels pretty good. And then if you practice that for long enough and you build some software with it at about 500 ish hours or like 200 to 500 hours, maybe you're going to be to the point where you can probably go sensibly get a job and not totally fall on your face. And then when you get to say two to 4,000 hours um, of professional experience, you're probably like a competent developer. You can make stuff. Someone can say, Hey, can you, can you build this for me? And you'd be like, yeah, I can probably do that. Might have to figure out a couple things, but I know how to do that too. And then after, you know, years and years and years on the job, you will more than pass the 10,000 hours and it will all seem pretty like routine. That's kind of what you can expect. Like you're not necessarily going to have a moment in time where like someone like waves a magic wand and says, you now know Python, go forth and write code. Like no one's going to make you into, you know, like you're now a real programmer. Like it's something that just happens over time. So you should probably expect that if you're going through tutorials and so forth, give yourself like a month or two to work through some basic tutorials and feel a little bit comfortable with Python. Give yourself six to 12 months of practice or a boot camp or college with some internships to feel like you're getting to the point where you could do something professionally. And then once you're a professional, give yourself a year or two of professional practice to feel like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm a good programmer. I'm capable. And that's kind of the you know trajectory. And then after that, it's just learning more stuff, getting more practice, building bigger systems, you know, having different experiences and just kind of like learning as you go. So thanks for watching and have an awesome day.